Zoomers, Gen Z, iPad kids, whatever you want to call them. According to most sources, I do in fact qualify as one of these devious lads. Most people probably think that since I'm a Zoomer kid, I was born on an iPad, grew up on those YouTube slime videos, Spider-Man vs. Pregnant Elsa fighting Baby Hulk. However, not all Zoomers play into that stereotype. While I do like a little bit of Prego Spider-Man from time to time, as a small boy, I chose life. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a lot of the childhood experiences I had in the backyard. You know, all the fun stuff I did, making mud puddles, potions, you know, the, the normal stuff that normal kids do. Because I, I'm normal. Yeah. To start, there was this big tree we had in the middle of our backyard. Me and my brothers would climb all of the time, dude. One time, I brought a pocket knife up into this tree with me and carved a dumb little face into it. I didn't think much about it at the time, but once my brothers found out about this newfound technology of wood carving, which, let's be honest, I discovered, they were as excited as a person who is excited. In fact, my older brother was so into his tree carvings, anytime anyone came over to our house, he had to show off his carvings to them, even though they were, were not even cool. I mean, mine were way better because I was the first one to do it, and actually I was the one who found out about this technology, so I'm the OG, I am the alpha. Then there was this one day where I found this awesome little yarn dude in the yard somewhere. This guy was instantly my favorite thing, alright? I was obsessed with this little yarn guy. But of course, I couldn't just have it like it was a normal item, okay? I had to hide it or keep it in a special place where my brothers couldn't get it and rip it to shreds like all the other toys I had. So I remember hiding this little yarn dude in some outlet cover in my front living room, but moving the couch every time I wanted to play with him wasn't the most ideal thing. So instead, I got the idea to put him in the place where I spent the most time at, which was, you guessed it, the big tree at the very top, let's go! In fact, he's still here to this day, spared from the cold, merciless hands of my sister siblings has lived a wonderful life up here. This isn't true for a lot of childhood items, really. Every now and then I still go up there and check on him, give him some water, bring him some of my homemade cookies along with some of his favorite stale crackers from the dumpsters behind my local grocery store. I've been taking good care of him, my guy. Needless to say, that tree gave me a lot of good memories, dude. It is definitely a strong staple of my childhood. Unlike these freaking pine trees we had, dude, if you've ever tried to climb a pine tree, you would know that that is terrible, bro. Horrible experience. Another thing that I would do as the devious lad that I was, uh, was to climb onto our house. Yep. I didn't do that much because usually whenever I did, my mom would get really really mad at me. And during those hot summer days, usually the shingles are like burning hot, dude. It was, it's not good, not fun. However, there was this one time in like the evening where it wasn't so bad on my feet and mom wasn't home. So let's go. I was on the roof hanging out with this blue little camera that my older brother gave to me. And I was doing like this house vlog style thing. I don't really remember. Anyways, I was kind of wrapping up the video and I had the idea to jump off of the roof onto the grass while recording because that would be really cool. So I got to the edge of the roof and I was ready to jump off. All I needed to, was to get the courage to tell myself to actually do it. And I was recording this whole thing, you know, because I wanted to record myself jumping off of the roof. I don't know if you get this too, but when you're at the water park, at the high dive, you get this feeling where you want to jump because it would be really cool and fun. But your mind is telling you that if you did it, you would freaking die. So that's what I was feeling here on the edge of the roof, just trying to get myself to jump. I was battling my thoughts there for so long that the camera died. And at that point, it doesn't really matter what happens because the camera died, there's no recording. So I just jumped off and as I hit the ground, I dropped the camera and it split into a million pieces. The SD card was all cracked and stuff. So now that 40 minute video of me standing there trying to get myself to jump, it's gone forever. Another thing I did as a kid, which was actually really weird now that I think about it. We had a ton of these dandelions in our backyard every summer and they were always really tall. So I'd go and find a long stick out of the big tree, and then I would whack the absolute crap out of those lanky little dandelions. Because, you know, if you whack them hard enough, the flower's stem would break, and it was really satisfying to see their heads get chopped off. Also, if you had a long enough stick, you could totally wipe out 10 to 20 of those little flowers each swing. And usually I would whack those flowers until my stick broke, and I'd go find another stick, keep whacking flowers. It was it was pretty fun, actually. I recommend it. 10 out of 10 experience. Eventually, my brother would come outside and he would make me play this game with him on the trampoline. It was called Back Bounce. The game was just us jumping on our backs at the same time. And usually one of us would go flying. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you okay? Sometimes a few of our neighbor kids would come over and play with us. 
And I know there's this popular joke on the internet about how the neighbor kid is really weird and no one wants to play with them, but I honestly never had this experience. I liked playing with them. I'd show them my awesome dandelion game. Yeah, that's cool, dude. But like, do you want to go inside and play Mario Kart or something? What? Nah, dude. Get your stick, help me kill all these dandelions, and then when we do that, we're going to eat off the bugs off of the fence. We're going to make a potion out of the leaves and spiders. You're going to have to drink that potion, by the way. And then we're going to go... For some reason, most neighbor kids didn't really want to play with me. I don't know why. In all my youth, I spent a lot of time outside. All right. So yeah, these are some of my experiences from my childhood. Against popular belief, I, as the Zoomer I was, did not spend my life inside on the computer. And if you are a fellow Zoomer and have had similar experiences, I do not care. Don't tell me about them. If you have any comments or ideas you'd like to share, nobody asked.